Okay guys, um, up here at the house, uh, I'm gonna film now. Um, it is uh, like four, four thirty-ish or so. We're about to lose light in here and we won't be able to see anything. So kind of give you an idea of what's happening. Um, so plastic and then drop claws on everything. Um, this has been a rather, well, that's a piece of plastic that's not there with. Um, this has been a rather uh, interesting endeavor so far. We're moving though. Uh, we've sprayed out ceilings. So all these ceilings look amazing. This camera's not even doing them justice. Um, so all the ceilings are done. We basically go, what we have to do is go left to right, and then we switch and go this way, and then we switch and go in a diagonal. So that way there's no lines. You can look light through the windows and there's zero lines, anything. Um, so what we're doing is we are starting um, the trim work so that we can actually start the secondary colors. And those will be happening here real quick. Um, so all of this molding has been uh, caulked in, prepped, and double cut. So that's why it has a beautiful, nice shine. So you can already tell by looking at this that it's, it sticks out between the ceiling. It does not look as if it's the same. Um, so obviously all the mud work around the windows has been done. Uh, a lot of mud work in here anyway. A lot of drywall work that we did not anticipate. See again, uh, it is not the same color. My camera is not doing it justice. Um, so, uh, big red ugly wall is primed and ready. Look at that, even the it comes through the primer even. Uh, so that's ready for a coat of paint, which we might do here in a minute. Um, so after all the trim has been done twice, what we did is we jumped back and we started the door jams. So these two door jams have been double coated. They are complete. Um, here's how we mask this off. So this is what I was talking about. Here is the little trim piece. So I figured we'll just cut it in. If we don't like it, we can take it back. I just think it would look... I don't know, you tell me, here's the video, so you guys tell. So again, sealing is done in here, drying right now, but that's a lot of it. Um, it's gorgeous. So uh, all the molding in here is also done. Um, again, door jams done here. Um, so these we started on, um, don't mind him. So these we started on, uh, these have been two coats and they look awesome. Now, as you notice, we caulked everything in around all the things, so there's no cracks or holes in them anymore. Um, and so these are going to Durapoxy Semi uh, Swiss Coffee. And so these are actually happening too. Um, so they're done. These guys right here as well. Dun, 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 that should be done. Um, so that one's done. And um, that leads us to this door and jam. And this stuff is also completely done here, two coats. And uh, so that looks pretty nice right there. We're working on this jam. All the molding in here is also done. Uh, so we're just tying up the back sides of these pillars. So here's where the video uh, takes a bad turn. And that is, we kept running into the issues on the windows. And so what happened was, I'll show you. They had used a silicone an oil-based silicone on the outside of all these windows. So I'm going to uh, turn this light real quick. Sorry for shaking the camera. Right so I'm going to turn the light towards the... Awesome. I'm going to turn the light towards the windows here. That'll help a little bit. So we started this window, and basically what we ran into is there's an oil-based silicone on all this stuff. So I don't know. Let me see if I can get close. See that? So paint will not adhere to this. And it's all over this window. It's all over the other window in the dining room. And so this is what it's doing. So what we have to do is actually mask the windows. And we have to do that horrible heavy duty oil-based lead cover stain, oil-based primer on that as well. So the windows now have to be primed, primed, and in the bedroom, primed prior to two coats of paint. So that's gonna add a little bit of time and a little bit of material. So I'll try to, I'm not gonna maul you guys on it, you already know that, but there is gonna be an addition to that. All the doors, all the jams, everything else is fine. It's just for some reason, they silicone these windows. 
when they put them in, which is usually what we see with window guys. Silicone goes on the outside of buildings, not the inside. It is extremely bad. It's not good to have next to a fireplace. Um, but what, what's the old saying? If you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. They probably just threw it in there because you can see how shiny our paint got stuck into it. Um, so they probably just said, hey, you know, this is what we're gonna do. And that's what they did. So um, windows primed and then painted. So um, tomorrow, the main objective of tomorrow is to get this room completely done, the entryway completely done, and this room completely done as well. So that is the plan for tomorrow. We're gonna just be working with respirators all day because this stuff is horrible uh, to breathe. It is pretty much, I'll show you what stuff it is. It's the Zinser cover stain, and it is, that is the face of evil. So, um, that's where we're at. We're still, we still got some time here uh, to go. So we probably got an hour, hour and a half left. But I kind of want to let you see something before it's all just uh, artificial light. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, the other room in here is um, also complete. It's all masked, prepped windows, everything is caulked in, it is ready, um, and so we'll start that process as well here. That'll probably be the tomorrow as well. So just letting you guys know where we're at, and um, yeah, everything is good. Thank you. Talk to you tomorrow.